Okay guys, now we're going to learn about skating with Andy and James the Yondu. We're going to cover accelerating and proper takeoff technique, crossovers and turns, braking, so that's coming to a stop, and skating backwards. Inland hockey is a very fast game, and you'll need to be able to accelerate quickly. There are three common starts that most players use. The V-start, sideways, and a rolling start. A V-start is generally used when you're standing still or just finished stopping backwards. To do it, you place your feet in the V, bend your knees, and push up with your legs. A sideways start is where your feet are parallel and take off, and is generally used in face-offs. To accelerate, you place one foot or the other until you get enough momentum to stride. A rolling start is one you'll probably use most often in a game, and is basically just a moving sideways start. Just remember you always want to lean forward as you take off, using the grip of your wheels to push off from, and thus accelerate faster. Crossovers allow you to turn quickly without losing too much speed. When doing crossovers, the outside leg goes over the inside leg, and then the inside leg comes out from behind. When braking, there are two main stops, the power slide and a hockey stop. The power slide is the easiest stop, but it doesn't slow down the body as quickly. To do a power slide, you swing one foot in front of you and turn it sideways. Meanwhile, the other foot will do a complete 180 and be facing the other direction. All your weight should be on your back foot to minimize the chance of falling over. The better but harder stop, the hockey stop, is similar to the power slide, except instead of only one foot going sideways, both feet do. The effect is much more immediate and can therefore be a bit harder to control. Once you can do the hockey stop, you may notice that you don't always need to use both feet. So practice, thumb stops are useful and thumb are just fun. Being able to skate backwards well is a very useful skill in hockey, especially for defenders. Skating backwards is pretty much just the same as skating forwards, you're just moving in the other direction. This means your knees should still be bent and you should still lean forward. You should never be doing crossovers while going backwards as a defender because it becomes easier to lose balance at high speed which in turn makes it easier for an attacker to get around you. Done properly and it won't even look like your feet leave the ground. A common mistake that young defenders make when skating backwards is that they skate back too fast. You need to match the speed of the attacker to be able to stop them. <laughs> 